Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to sell digital products like eBooks on Squarespace. I know there are a lot of you that are pivoting right now and trying to figure out how to offer products that are 100% online. So I hope this video will be really helpful to you. So for this, you are going to need a Squarespace account. I'll link to my other video down below where I show you how to set this up. All right, let's dive into today's training. So this is what it looks like when you're logged into Squarespace. To add a product, you're going to click on pages and then you're going to click the plus sign here and you're going to select store. Okay, great. So from here, they will give you two different starter layouts for you to choose from. I'm going to go with this one here and then I'm just going to remove the one because I'm only gonna have this one store and hit enter on my keyboard. Okay, great. So as you can see, if I scroll down on the right, I can see what it looks like. Awesome. Now these are demo products though, so I'm actually going to delete them. To do that, simply double click on it and then hit delete and confirm. Double click, delete, confirm. Okay, so to add your first product, you're just going to click right here and then you're going to select digital. So this is going to work for any type of downloadable digital file. So this could be an ebook, a template, even an audio file, anything that requires a download. Okay, so let's click on that. And this is where you input the information for your product. So I'm going to type in the name here. So for demo purposes, I'm going to use my Squarespace roadmap and pretend that I want to sell it as an ebook. This is usually completely free and you can get it on my website. Okay, so let's type in the title here. Great, then I'm going to upload some images. So I'm just gonna click the arrow and then I can select one of my images and I can upload another one. Great, so as you can see, I have created some mockups to display my digital files. And I definitely recommend that you do this as well. I have a video showing you how to do this, so I'll link to that in the description below. So we have our photos. Then down here is where you would add your product information. So I'm just going to add my product details. And as you can see, you get this bar across the top with all sorts of different editing options. So you can make use of those. Then we have pricing. So for that, I'm going to click edit and this is going to open up a new window. So first you're going to actually add the file. So you're going to add the digital file that you want customers to receive. So as you can see here, I have my roadmap PDF. I'm gonna hit open and that's going to upload here. Okay, great, so there it is. Now here I'm going to set the price. So let's say I want it to be $25. I'm just gonna type in 25 and then click right here and it adds the dollar sign and the two zeros. And I can also add a sale price. So let's say I wanna actually put it on sale for $20. I can do that and then I can check on sale. Great, so let's go through the rest of your tabs, uh, but first there was a few more under items. So you'll see we have tags and categories. You can absolutely add those. Then under additional info, you can add any additional information that you would like. This functions like the rest of Squarespace and you can add in any blocks that you would like. If you're new to Squarespace, definitely check the description below because I'll link to my other Squarespace videos and make sure to go and grab your hands on this roadmap. Next, we have a form if you want to collect additional information, but I'm happy with what Squarespace collects by default, and I will show you that in this video. Then options, so this is definitely important. You're going to want to add a product URL, so a unique link for people to use to get to this product. So I'm going to do Squarespace-roadmap. So you'll want to use just letters or dashes. Then you're going to add an image for your main thumbnail. So what image do you want to use for the main thumbnail on your shop page? Upload that right here. Okay, great. Then I can leave everything as default. Then we have our SEO tab for you to add the right keywords to ensure that your product is found. Then we have the social tab. So this will actually pull one of your photos by default after we publish this, 
or you can add a custom social sharing image. And I would recommend you do this and do one that is more landscape dimensions so that it shows up nicely on social media. Then we have the share tab. This is where you can connect your social media accounts and it will automatically share out your product, but I actually never use this and wouldn't recommend it. Okay, so we are done here. So we're gonna click save and publish. And as you can see, this has added our product to our shop. Yay! <laughs> so in order to view your store full screen, you're going to click this arrow right here. Okay, so that is what it looks like. Now keep in mind with Squarespace that everything is customizable. So the colors, the fonts, the background color here, the size that your products are displayed, everything about it is customizable, which is a huge reason why I love Squarespace. So let's click on the arrow here. Now, not only do we have this shop page, which would display all your different products, but if we click on it over here, we'll also open up your individual product page like this, which looks pretty great. But again, everything about this can be customized. So now I want to show you how to change your colors. You're just gonna click on store and then edit. Scroll down here to your product area and you'll see a little pencil icon appear. So you can click on that, then go over to colors and you can take off the default theme if you would like and you can change this to any of these colors here. So I'm going to change it to white bold and as you can see, that's gonna give me a white background, which is going to be a little easier for us to see all the details here. So yeah, tons of choices here in terms of colors. Okay, so let's go with white bold and then hit done and save. So that's how you change the color of the product area. And there's a whole lot more that you can customize within the colors themselves. Okay, so let's get to customizing our product page because I love how many options you have. We're going to click on this here. Okay, and this is going to open up and it looks great, but there might be some elements that you want to change. Hit back and then you're gonna click design and then product items. And here you'll see all these different editing options for this page. So for example, we have width is currently full, but you could change that to inset. So that's going to give it a bit of a border. You can change the aspect ratio of your photos. So I have it on square. I've uploaded square images, um, but yours might be a different size. You can change the text alignment. You can change how this product navigation looks. Uh, the item spacing, your gallery width. So this is how big your images display. I could make them a lot smaller or I could make them a lot bigger. We have content alignment, whether you want to have a slideshow or you want to have stacked and display your images like this or change it to a carousel, which will then display your images like this. So there is a whole lot that you can do here. We can change where the photos are placed we can change what happens when you click on the photos. So we can either have it where it will zoom in like that or Lightbox, where if you click on it, the image will open up in a new window like this. And then I can put it back to slideshow. Then I can change the hover action to zoom. So if I come over here and hover over that image, it's going to zoom in on my product photo. Okay, great. So let's hit save and back, hit back again. Now the next thing you need to do is click on commerce. So we need to get your store set up for sales. Now you can sell on the business plan or higher. If you're on the business plan though, there is a 3% transaction fee, whereas on the higher commerce plans, there's a 0% transaction fee. So check out squarespace.com forward slash pricing to see what plan is best for you. So first, as you can see, I'm on a trial. I'm actually going to need to subscribe to a plan in order to start selling products. So I'm gonna click on that. And for demo purposes, I'm just going to go with the business plan. Okay, so I've gone ahead and done that. Now I'm gonna go back to my site. Okay, great, so let's continue on. We're going to go into commerce and then payments. Now Squarespace connects with both Stripe and PayPal, so you're going to need to hook that up here. Okay, great, so we've connected PayPal. You'll see your store currency down here. You can change that if needed. 
And now let me walk you through the process of what it looks like from the customer and from your end as well. So let's pretend that I'm a new visitor to the site. I'm going to click on store and I'll see my store here. Then I click on my roadmap, see my product page, and I'm going to click add to cart. Great, so if you want, it can either look like this or you can enable express checkout and it will go straight to the checkout, it's up to you. Then I'm going to click on my shopping cart icon and then checkout. Okay, so this is what the checkout will look like for your customer. You can of course customize more of this for your brand. I'm gonna click continue and I'm going to type in my information and click pay with PayPal. So they will either see the option to log in or create an account. If they click on create an account, they can actually just use their credit card here and pay this way and then just choose to not create a PayPal account. So that is an option as well. But if you would like this to be more seamless, because I can see that that would definitely get a bit confusing, then I would set up a Stripe account, which is an easy way to accept credit card payments. So after they have purchased, they will be led to an order confirmation page where they can click here and download your ebook or digital file. Right, so super nice and simple. They will also receive some emails from you. So your customer will get an order confirmation email like this, and then they will receive another email with the digital download. So this is super important. Once they click it, they will have 24 hours before this link expires. So it's really important that you just instruct to your customers, okay, click on the link, right? And ensure that it has actually been downloaded and saved to their computer. Because 24 hours from now, if I were to come into my email again and then try and click this, it won't work. Though you as the store owner, you can resend to them. So yeah, I think it's just important to tell them that they need to download it to their computer and then that's totally fine. As the seller, you will receive an email letting you know that a new order has arrived. So within Squarespace, make sure that you click on commerce and then scroll down to the setup and go through all of these different tabs to make sure that everything is set up correctly and your customer notifications. So if I click on this, it's going to give me all of the options to customize those emails. So Squarespace is very flexible and customizable. To get more help, make sure you grab that roadmap by clicking the link in the description below. Then you'll be on my list and I can share more resources with you as well. All right guys, so that is how you set up digital products for sale on Squarespace. Of course, there's so much more to teach you about this topic. So click the link in the description below and you can get my free Squarespace roadmap, which walks you through how to set up your website on Squarespace. Also, if you haven't signed up for a plan on Squarespace yet, you can use my affiliate discount code SIDEKICK10 at checkout to save 10% off. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't yet, don't forget to hit subscribe down below. I'm posting new videos every single day to help you work remotely. So do that and I'll see you tomorrow with